thing is, I'm accepting my punishment from the Lord. I done been down that road with the Lord. But see, this is my thing, right? I done been down that road with the Lord. You know what it is? The Lord left me there. Uh huh. But He did it. He left me there. He did it. I done had a good relationship with Him. He left me there. He did it. He took it from me. He did it. He don't need no. He didn't leave you there. I'm good. And you know how I know He didn't leave you there. But I ain't fucking with Him like that. Listen, listen, I'm in there. I know what you feel. So he here, that's I why feel, I feel you, bitch. That's why I'm here. I've been there. I've been there. But I'm telling you, everything you say, you can't tap it. You know how you know I know he's here. 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 You a man that, hey, I got to see it to believe it, I need an example. Right. Your cousin is reading the Bible! Yes. Yes. Captivity and slavery, this is what they called us. American black, West Indies, Haitians, Puerto Ricans. But on this side, these are our biblical names that I can open up the Bible and I can find them. Give me Revelation 21. So my question to you, Brother Dominique and Brother Benjamin, where would you find which one of these tribes would you find you come from? Judah, Judah right? Where would you find you come from, Brother Benjamin? So-called American black man? Yes, right. So now watch this. This is heavy. This is the book of Revelation. This is the end. And the pastors don't touch this verse. You know why? Because this verse, I'm going to show you something heavy about this verse. Read. Revelation, chapter 21, verse 12. Uh -huh. It had a wall great and high. So this is talking about the kingdom. You know, everybody go to church. Everybody say, oh, I want to be saved. They want to be saved to come here. What we're about to read. Read. And had 12 gates. 
And at the gates, 12 angels. Wait a minute. They had 12 gates in the kingdom. And at the gate, 12 angels. Come on up, bro. Don't, don't, don't go here. What's your name, my brother? Ski? Kelani. Kelisha. All right, watch this. Read. And names written thereon. And there was names written on these 12 gates. We talking about it. Listen, who got, a, who got a mom or aunt that go to church, like, faithfully? Right? You know why they go to church? Because they want to get to this kingdom right here. They tired of living like this. They tired. They want to get right here. Right. But when I read the description of this kingdom, read it again. And names written thereon, uh -huh. which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. That same aunt, grandma, um, mother that go to church, ask her one question. Mom, what gate you going in? Mom, what gate you going in? Right. I guarantee you, as much as you love them, and don't make them feel disrespected, they won't have an answer for you. Bring it out! Because as long as you call yourself African-American, American, or so-called black man, you ain't got a, tr you ain't got a gate. Because you ain't representing the tribe. Right. So read it again. And at a wall, great and high, uh -huh. and at 12 gates, uh -huh. and at the gates, 12 angels, uh -huh. and names were thereon, uh -huh. which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. The children of Israel, that's who you are. That's you are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That's right. This means God's praise. But when you look at your condition in the community, you look at how they treat us. Get out, um, Deuteronomy 28:65. We don't look like the praise of God. We look like the rejected of the earth. We look like the despised of society. When they talk about thieves, when they talk about robbers, when they talk about people going to prison, what picture they show? Exactly. They show the black man. Why? So people can fear you. So people can never look at you as a god or a prince. They can never look at you as a man with value. Man, it's so bad, bro. It's such propaganda. You could go into your own home. That woman you go to work for, that woman you try to build up, that same woman to look at you like you nothing but a nigga. Where she get that from? You get what I'm saying? So watch this. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 65. And among these nations. And among these nations because my question to you, Dominic. Wait a minute. What school? You you in high school? You in school? Okay, but you went, you went to high school, right? You didn't go to high school? But you can answer this. Huh? I'm not in high school. I'm in middle school. Oh, middle school. So this is even better. How did the so-called black man get to America? Through ships. Say it again? Through ships. You agree with him? You agree with him? No, not the black man that's here in America. The black man that's here in America didn't come here on ships? How did we get here? No. And I got you. And I got you. Now, part of us did come over, but we still came over on ships. You see what I'm saying? I get that. My rationality comes from the simple fact that we got Harry Tubman. Right, right. Harry Tubman and all that. But let me show you something. And I'm going to meet you where you at. What we have to understand is the bulk of us. Where is that? Matter of fact, it's right here. I'm going to step back. The bulk of us came from right here. You see this? What, what continent is this called? You, you back on. What continent is this called? That's Africa, right? This is the so called West Coast of Africa, right? Guess what it was called before it was called the West Coast of Africa? It was called the Gold Coast because it was nothing but gold there. It was called the Ivory Coast because it was nothing but ivory there. And then it was called the Slave Coast because that's where the majority of the slaves came. And guess what? Look, all these purple arrows represents a ship route, a slave ship route. Give me that. You know what I want. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So it's saying, the Lord shall bring thee, you so-called black men that's catching hell in America, that's not respected, that's looked at prisoners, that's looked at savages, you will come into Egypt. The word Egypt means slavery. Right. Watch this, read. Again, uh -huh. with ship. With what? With ship. Wait a minute. Hold on. Have you ever been taught this in your church, that our history of us get, get it, coming to America on snake ships, has that ever been taught to us, brothers? No. You know why? Because they can never let you know who you are. Right. They got to keep you on the bottom. Who built the White House, the so-called black man? Who built damn near everything in this world? The Israelites. That's right. The Israelites. You understand, brothers, what I'm saying? So I got to meet y'all where y'all at. I got to meet y'all where y'all at. So now, there's a reason this happened to us. Right. You got to ask yourself why. Kalaj, why did this happen to the so-called black man? Watch this. Matter of fact, 
me, if y'all don't mind, let me finish this verse. You finish, read that on. By the word whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. Uh -huh. And there, and there, once you got off these slave ships, and I want y'all to look at this picture right here. What's happening in this picture? Because we are visual people. You on again. What's happening in this picture right here? Abuse. Okay. That's one way to put it. The, say it again. You being sold. Read, it, read that part again. And there, uh -huh. you shall be sold unto your enemies. That's a Bible verse. That's a Bible verse. Read. For bond men. For bond men, slave men. And bond women. And slave women. So now, Brother Benjamin, you on. Why did this happen to us? It happened to us because we lost our way. We lost our faith in the Lord. We lost our faith in the Lord? In my opinion. No, I got you. I'm going to meet you where you at. Why do you think this happened to us, Dominic? Um, it's okay. And that's a very humble answer. But I, there's a lot of things I don't know. I just say I don't know. But I like the, I like his. You all right? Glad you on. Why this happened to us? You don't know, right? Give me what I want. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass. When it says it shall come to pass, brothers, that's prophecy. That's prophecy. I'm telling you the future. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe, to do all His commandments. It says to do what? All His what? <laughs> There you go, law. It said commandments, right? Guess what, brothers? Guess what? I'm going to tell you something that you've never been taught. Elijah, you too. We are the only people, these 12 tribes are the only people that was given those laws. It wasn't given to no other nation. That's why all punishment, give me um, um, Amos, that's why all punishment, look at that. There is no other nation on this earth that can look at those pictures and say, that's my people. Only we can say that because we were only one given laws. Now, I'm going to help you all out. Remember, this is all love. We men here, right? We men here, right? Watch this. You see the tattoos on your body? That's breaking the commandment. Did you know that? You see the brothers that shave their face and cut their beard? That's breaking the commandment. You see what I'm saying? And guess what? I'm going to hit you up to one. You see y'all brothers having a hat while this Bible coming out? That's another commandment. That Bible, when, this, when this Bible coming out, that's not supposed to happen. We're going to get all of it. Well, let me ask you this. The thing that confuses mm -hmm. me that gets yes, us sir. the most, because it's all about if you're not serving the Lord, then right. serving Satan, so he throw you all these different um, whatnots at you. But we all preaching out the Bible. We got Catholics, uh -huh. we got Christians, we got Baptists. Right. We got all these people, and everybody Go talking about the same 28. book. Yes, sir. Everybody getting a different meaning mm -hmm. of each one of these things, which is why everybody is confused. Mm -hmm. So that's why I say when I pull it up, and he was saying come to the side, I'm not really with religion, because right. the, uh, the goal of it all, is to keep you from serving the Lord no matter who you serve. You one, you him, man, where that picture at? You 100% correct, my brother. So, man, we ain't got so it. So that's why it's hard when I said but that. But hold on. Listen. It's like you preaching out the Bible. You talking right. about no, what the Bible's saying. Then but it but like it's, it's getting the right. understanding. So watch this. Go to... back to Deuteronomy. We're going to go slow. Because you, let me tell you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stay on that page. Stay on that page. Yeah, Matter of fact, you know, about, you know about that pyramid that we're trying to build? Yeah, all that. But listen, this is exactly what I wanted to get to. Like I told you, if I know you're a God, I know you're the chosen people, and I know I'm not the chosen people. When I got you at this condition right here, when I have brought you down to the to the level of being an animal, where you only look to me for food, rest, and sleep, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to take away your history. I'm going to stop you from reading and writing. I'm going to feed you information that you can never check and verify for yourself. Why? To keep you at the bottom. So guess what? What you just said is heavy. How is it that everybody grabbing the Bible, but you got Catholicism coming out of that? You got Baptists coming out of that? You got all these different things coming out of that, right? We're going to read Deuteronomy 28, verse 15 again. Just let me finish this and I got you. Don't lose your thought. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, Future if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe, to do all his commandments, to observe, to do religion, to do all his commandments, to be a Baptist, to do all his commandments. What did the Bible, what did Moses say he gave us? <laughs> commandments. The white man came and gave you religion. The same way he infiltrated and gave you gangs. Watch this read. And his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses, that all these what? These curses. So if you didn't keep the laws and do the commandments, curses was going to come on you. We going to read what those curses are. You tell me who does fit. Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Uh -huh. Now watch this. Read the next verse. Let's see who fits this curse. Read. Curse shall thou be in the city. Stop. What is in the community of 
the so-called black man today. Let's be honest, brothers. Drugs, prostitution, murder, child molestation, cancer. Are these things blessings or curses? They curses. So who is this Bible speaking to? But I'm going to give you the verse that it was prophesied this would happen. Drop that right quick. Go to Romans chapter 16, verse 18. You, you still remember your thought? All right, make your point. Let me hear what you got to say. Okay. They say the Bible was created from the Greeks, right? From Not from the Greeks, no. So they didn't get the idea from the Greeks? No, no, absolutely not. Sir. Absolutely not. But the purpose... It was translated in Greek. It was a, it was a purpose of purpose to... Um, it was a purpose mm -hmm. to believe in a high in the, in the higher power, but it was it's like the slave. I understand you know about the slavery the four hundred years. Right, 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 that, right. It was like all in the Bible. But, right. I got you. I feel like the Bible is the New World Testament, and the, and the Ten Commandments are just the laws, those same laws that's in the courtroom. Oh yeah. They, oh, don't. Hey, you know what's heavy? You heard that? Cause Cause Elijah, let that me ask you a question. Ahead. Let me ask you a question. You go on a, the the, the so-called courtroom today, right? When they say, "Hey, you better tell the truth," what they make you put your hand on? The Bible. That what they make you put your hand on? They say make you put on. But don't you put your hand up. But right, right. But watch this though. Don't in the Bible say, "Thou shalt not steal." So that same white man's court system that's making you put your hand on the Bible, how he got this land? Did he buy it? What did he do? He stole it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. They gonna feed you one thing and do something totally different. This the verse that I wanted y'all brothers to hear. Read that. Romans chapter 16 verse 18. Uh -huh. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ. They never served the Lord. They never came out the Bible 100% uncut and raw. Watch this read. But their own belly. Their what? Their own belly. Because if I feed you a dream and I feed you a lie, I'm going to get you to open up the pockets. And you're going to keep coming every Sunday and putting in my collection plate. Right. Watch this read. And by good word. And by what? Good word. And they put on the robes. They put on the, the, the attire. And they use big words. Man, he must be smart. I don't know, brother. Read. And fast speeches. And motivational speeches. That's what these pastors do. Right. They give you a good motivational speech. Ain't learned nothing. Read. Deceive the hearts of the simple. Who did he deceive? The hearts of the simple. Because brothers like you that don't want no fluff. Just give me what the words say. Keep it simple for me. That's who they trying to trick. That's who mine they trying to trick. Y'all brothers understand what I'm saying? Let me tell you something, brother. I'm an intellectual. I'm a scholar. Oh, I got Everything you. Everything that you talk about. Oh, yeah. About, oh, yeah. I got I'm it. I'm transcending that. I'm right. I'm transcending the religion. Okay. I'm transcending When well, you say transcending, though, I want to make sure we're walking together. I mean transcending. I mean by. Because you got to be complete like understanding. A decipher? Got you. Give me Isaiah 28. Y'all get a complete understanding of what's going on. Uh-huh. The world I'm living in. The uh -huh. world that's running this world. Right. The games that's played. The right. Life, and so the history that you know nothing about. Right. Because see, you have to do study. You can't you just got study to. for I got knowledge. You got to. So everything you're talking about, I'm now complete. Okay, watch you. I got you. I've been there to leave. Yeah, I know. But I'm glad I stopped Dang. by to but, talk to y'all, man. But check this out. Benjamin, yeah. before you leave, because I, re I respect everything you just said. Yeah. I got to. I know. I know. But I got to make sure we recap. Brothers, make sure we understand. This is our history. It happened to us. We actually read that out of the Bible. We were going to be sold. You said it when we looked at that picture. You said it exactly. We were. They, they're taking advantage of us, right? Watch this. Now, check this out. Now, let's get. Let's get to the real nitty of the gritty. All this happened because we didn't keep the laws, right? What I got you holding? Drop all that. It's just these men. These men and they ready for the word. Give me tattoos. Give me smoking. And give me, and not to say you deal with it, but give me feminine. I'm going to show you all this. Bring it on. I'm going to show you. Don't, hey, Dominique, don't go. Come on. See? You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? I'm going to listen, but I got to go. Yeah, 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 but listen, pay attention. Hey, you know what, Benjamin? I appreciate you staying. The thing is, I know this. Bro. Right, just read that. I'm standing here because I know all of this. You know what I'm saying? It's right, good, right. but I just don't know. Uh, but I know what's going on. Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 5. Uh -huh. They shall not make bonus upon their head. They shall not do what? Make bonus upon their head. No Michael Jordans, no Charles Barkley's. You can't shave it off. You can't do that. Watch this, read. Neither shall they, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Oh, that's my, I, that's why I read it for you. 
because one of the laws is as a man and you a young man coming up as a man you better make sure you have that beard because it's a badge of manly dignity now my brother says he read books does anybody have the zondervan the zondervan now we gonna get a book written by a historian why the israelite man from these 12 tribes was not supposed to shave off the corners of their beard we gonna get that read nor make any cuttings in their flesh nor make any cuttings in their flesh when you get a tattoo the next thing they tell you to do cover it up why because the flesh is cut you're not supposed to do that you're not supposed to do that at all so we just got tattoos even though dominic left he understands that's one of the commandments we broke now give me smoking because i used to smoke so i know that i know it does nothing for the temple of god the temple of wisdom the temple of the spirit of understanding why is this read first corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 uh -huh. know you not that you are the temple of god and that the spirit of god dwelleth in you you are the temple of god why because he only gave it to the 12 tribes of israel you are the temple it's not a physical temple anymore it's you why is this read if any man defile the temple of god if any man defile that holy place how do you defile that holy place exactly you smoke you watch you watch stuff you're not supposed to watch you do you, you you know what i'm saying you sleeping with a woman that's not your wife you a young man you looking at stuff that you have no business looking at right that's defiling your temple watch this read if any man defile the temple of god uh -huh. him shall go and destroy because guess what that judgment is on you because you know better you see what i'm saying my brother see then when uh, and even knowing better even uh -huh. still talking to you yes I'm, sir now you good you good you good that I'm breaking. I'm all praise, well all But the thing is, with the, with, the, with, the, with, the, with the things that's going on in the world, with the, with the psychological training, with right. the chemical programming, right. with the mind programming, right. everyday in lifestyle Matthew that 24. we have to live, uh -huh. it causes you to continually break these commandments and not give a damn about breaking oh, these commandments. But guess you know what? what? Guess what, Benjamin? You so, know what? what I, and not to cut you off, yeah, yeah. just knowing the power that you have by wanting to learn and, 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 and know more, yeah. that same power should put you with some godly men. And that's the thing. I so know you, this, brother, but I, I'm you know so caught saying? up in my lifestyle right. that I'm willing to, to deal with what I'm doing. Yeah, okay, drop all that. Give me James 4 and 8. Oh, watch this. I'm going to show you something, though. I'm going to show you something. And this for you, too. Oh, you know what? We had to get one more thing. Get 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. I know, bro. I apologize. 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. This for you and your generation. Because I'm going to tell you, you know what they pushing on your generation more than they pushing on our generation. They pushing, they pushing the whole spirit on the girls. There you go. And they push the thug spirit on the boys oh. back in the night. Uh -huh. That's why you have... What's what happening? Now, though. See, now, now you got the whole spirit on the girls. They want to twerk, show their body, uh -huh. show their body. Uh -huh. be what about the young men? What's going on with the young men? The young men, they feminize it. There we go. You know what I'm saying? With the men. There we there go. See, that's where I'm at in life. You I'm get what I'm saying? Life, but I, Watch I, I, this. I, 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 Watch I, I, this. I, I, now, remember, the scriptures say, how can something clean from some, come from something unclean? Yeah. How is this, this brother, because I'm going to tell you, you're supposed to be a light. Well, I'm you know, know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be a light. It's like I don't see the help. First three, six, and nine. putting up the whole fight. So we gonna help, and, and we gonna get so, you, bro. You, know, you, 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 you got I'm good. I, I just have my own relationship. Right. Lord. But we gotta talk about that, cause I've heard that, we, and you've heard it too, man. People say I got all the extra love, but let's get this scripture for you, and so you can be prepared. What's coming for you? Read First Corinthians chapter six, verse nine. Uh -huh. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? So we gotta stop and talk about this kingdom of God. Kilaj, don't pay, don't don't forget this part. And Benjamin, I'm a, I want you to walk with me. From a young age, they talked about this kingdom of God. Watch this. I'm going to test it. Where is the kingdom of God going to be? Say it again. You see that lie? It say, and, 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 and this is how we were all programmed. We going up into the sky. We going to stay there. It's going to be angels with white wings. and No. In the Lord's prayer, he said, thy kingdom come on earth. So, Kalaja, guess what the kingdom of heaven is going to be? There you go. So, read that scripture again. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So, I'm confused. The kingdom of heaven is going to be right here on earth, but it said the, the unrighteous will not inherit, which means he's not coming in. You know why? Because they're going to be destroyed. The part of the Bible they don't teach you, there's a destruction coming here to America. Right? Watch this, read. Be not deceived. Uh-huh. Need to fornicate. That's what I want. Hey, Clyde.
technology that's for you. Fornicator, having sex with people that you're not you're not married, you're not the age of marriage, but you're doing sexual activity. That's fornication. Read. No idolaters. No idolaters. What is idolaters? You go home and got a picture of this white Jesus in your room. And ain't no Bible verse back that up. That's idolatry. Read. No adulterers. No adulterers. That's that whole hop that what you talked about. Whole hopping and all that other stuff. Read. No effeminate. No what? No effeminate. That's your generation. No effeminate. They making it cool for young brothers like you that have that lion and warrior spirit. They don't want that on you. So they try to take it off you and make it okay for y'all to wear dresses. Make it okay for y'all to wear fingernail polish. Rappers, y'all, the rappers that y'all look up to is doing that. Make it okay for you to kiss a man on the mouth. What are we doing? Read that part again. No effeminate. No abusers of themselves with mankind. Uh -huh. So watch this. All the sinners shall die. Amos 9 and 8. Because I'm going to show you something, brother. As much as, and this your cousin. And guess what? I'm going to just say it straight. You see this brother right here? He cold with the scriptures. You see him flipping to He cold with the scriptures. So I already know he's going to have a conversation with you a little bit more in depth. Amos 9 and 10. Oh, that's my brother right there. Yeah, hey, what's going on, Drew? So read that, Amos 9 and 10. No, first let's get what sin is. Quickly, quickly, 1 John 3 and 4. And then I'm going to, hey, who the next teacher? Watch this. So we so we can understand, we got to understand this, this this precept. Read that. 1 John chapter 3, verse 4. Uh -huh. Whosoever committed sin, transgress also the law. Uh -huh. For sin is the transgression of the law. What is sin, brothers? What is sin? What did the verse just say, Clive? We're going to read it one more time slow. Whosoever commits sin, transgress also the law. Uh -huh. For sin is the transgression of the law. That means when I read this book and I see sin, someone is breaking the law. Someone is breaking the law, right? So now go to Amos 9 and 10. Read that. Amos 9 and 10. Yeah. Chapter 9, verse 10. Uh -huh. All the sinners, of, all the sinners, the people that are breaking the law, read, of my people, of who? Of my people, of the 12 tribes of Israel, read, shall die. No, they don't live. Shall die. Thus saith the Lord. So when you know you're breaking the law, what are you supposed to do? Humble down. Say it again. There you go. Change. Change, bro. And it's, hey, let me, I'm going to tell you. If you've been smoking for 20 years, because I was I was a smoker, that don't go away overnight. Give me Ciroc 1724. So how does it go away? How does, because smoking can go away. I'm a testament to that. How does it go away? You know what's going to happen? Your heavenly father is a spiritual, spiritual man. When he see you come to change, guess what he's going to do? He's going to take that spirit, his spirit, which is inside of you, he's going to grow it. And you're going to be more connected. So watch this. Read verse 25. So right, chapter 17, verse 25. Uh, 24. 24. But unto them that repent. Unto them that repent. What repent mean? I'm a, I'm a, hey, you know what's happening? This was for you. Never forget this. You know what they took away from school? They took away dictionaries. You know why they took away dictionaries and root words? Because they, they don't want you to know the meaning of words. Let's dissect the word repent. Read. Pent. Read means to come back. Pent. You know what pent means? Pent means to have regret. To want to change. I didn't mean to do that. That's why they send men to a penitentiary. Because they're expecting you to go in the penitentiary and regret and change. So the word repent means you come back to a repented, a contrite, a, a shameful spirit for what you did. That's what the word repent means. Y'all brothers understand that? You'll never learn that in school. Read. But until them, they repent to the person that comes back with that shameful spirit spirit like man i regret i shouldn't have done it read he granted them return he what he granted them return with open arms because he's your father and he's a black man according to the bible right. read and comforted those that failed in patience he what he comforted those that failed in patience he's spiritual so you know how he's gonna comfort you that lust you have when you look at girls when you keep coming to the scriptures it fades away that cigarette man i know i can't do it something convicts you it makes you feel bad i don't want to touch that no more that drinking man i gotta put this down i gotta
got to let it go because you're repenting. Right. He's going to comfort you. Watch this, read. Return unto the Lord. What does it say? Return unto the Lord. You know what's heavy about that? He say, you, the move is on you first. <laughs> I've been here all day. This Bible ain't never disappeared. It's been here all this time. But the move is on you. He said, you got to take the first step. Return. Because when you take one step forward to me, I'm going to take a step back. I'm forward to you. Watch this, read. And forsake thy sin. And what? Forsake thy sin. Just, just little by little, push it away. Whatever you battling, whatever you, you, you just don't want to deal with because you know it's breaking the law of God, push it away. Watch this, read. Make thy prayer before his face. And that's the faith you was talking about. You know you got to change, so now you have faith. But brothers, this is important. Watch this part. Read. And offend less. Hey, what's your name, sir? Reuben. Reuben. Whoa. Hey. That was the first son. Reuben. You get what I'm saying? Hey, this heavy. Benjamin, Israelite name. Reuben, Israelite name. And here it is. Y'all learning about the 12 tribes of Israel. So it says offend less. Reuben, what does that mean? Offend less. It say offend less. What do you think that means? It's okay, it's okay. If you want to give a shot, you want to give a shot? Yeah, uh, I guess it means stop messing up. You got it! Stop That's exactly up. what it means. But it says a fin less. You know what that means? If I used to drink five beers in a day, I'm going to try to only do three. If I used to drink two packs, I mean smoke two packs of cigarettes, I'm going to just start off by just doing one. He knows it's not going to be overnight, but it's gonna, you're going to fin less. You're going to get better and better at it. Watch this. Is more on that? Okay, go James 4. Because I told him, I know you got to go, bro. Listen to, this, listen to this as you walk away. Because I don't want that ice to melt. I get it, brother. I, finally got I beer. get it. I finally got beer. Okay, watch this. Get beer. Let's, let's get that. Let's get that. Because I wanted my brother to understand. Because he read books. And that's good. But if it ain't coming out the Bible, that book ain't worth nothing. Right. That's right. You got it? Got beer. Give him a moment. Give him a moment. Beer. All right. Thank you, bro. Yeah. This 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 is what I, Reuben, this for you. Benjamin is for you. Read it. James chapter 4, verse 8. Uh -huh. Draw nigh to God. It says draw nigh. Draw near to God. Read. And he will draw nigh to you. And he will do what? Draw nigh to you. Then he's gonna come to you. Y'all brothers understand what I'm saying? Watch this. This is the Donovan Bible Dictionary. Beer, a badge of manly dignity. As a sign of mourning, it was the custom to pluck it out or cut it off. Mm -hmm. The Israelites were forbidden to Wait, read that part again? The Israelites were forbidden to shave off the corners of their beards. Because it was a badge of manly dignity. Thank you. So what does that mean? We're not supposed to shave our beards, Brother Reuben. We're not supposed to shave our beards, Brother Reuben. Now let's get last commandment and then I'm going to open up the floor for any questions because I said a lot. Give me head covering. Because I said that before. Now let's prove it out the scriptures. Head covering. That head covering. That head covering. That head covering. Because as you start to come and understand the Bible on a deeper level and realize you're not by yourself, you can't change. The scriptures are here to help build you up. You're going to realize Satan, he, because right now, whether you realize it or not, when you, are, when you're doing sin, you're a slave to Satan. Right. You're a slave for him. He literally programmed you, get up, go do that again. But I don't feel, get up, go do that again. I'm going I'm to show you out the scriptures, but read that. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Uh -huh. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Stop. It said the head of every man, we're all men here, is who? is Christ. Who is the head of every man? Christ. Christ is the head. He's the leader. He's the example. Watch this read. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of that woman is who? The man. There you go. You're supposed to be that leader. That example. Watch this read. And the head of Christ is God. Guess what? That's his leader. That's his example. Just like that's all of our leaders. That's our example. Read. Every man praying or prophesying. This is the point that's important. Every man praying or prophesying. We're in the midst of prophecy right now. Read. Having his head covered. Having his head covered. What covers our head? What's covering your head? What's covering your head right now? The Holy Ghost. Say it again. Say it again. The beanie. The beanie. Benjamin, what's covering? 
over your head. Okay. That all cap. So let me read that again. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, uh -huh. dishonor it, his head. You dishonor the Messiah. When these words are coming out, you dishonor the Messiah. So I did a lot of talking. I'm going to see if you men really believe in this Bible. So, hearing that scripture, what should you do with that? What should you do with that item on your head? What should you do? That's right, Benjamin. Take it off. Let me see. Let me see if you believe. Wow. See, I know this. <laughs> Everything you talking, I know through and through. Wow. I just put that Bible front to back. Wow, every man. scripture, every, you know what I'm But the thing is, okay. my way I'm at in my life, brother, uh -huh. I done been down this road so many times. You have? The Lord said you help yourself a little bit, he gonna help you the rest of the way. I know this. Uh -huh. Everything you saying is absolutely correct. Okay. But where I'm at in life, brother, I'm just ain't, ain't there, and I'm not finna go there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm talking about why? Because I uh -huh. know that there's a higher place for us to go. Anything Let me tell you, like, like, try this exercise real yes, quick sir. before yes, you do sir. that. If you close your eyes uh -huh. and you say the word orange, uh -huh. now with your mouth mm -hmm. in your head, uh -huh. now open your eyes. Mm -hmm. You saw an orange, you didn't use these eyes. You that heard an orange, you, but, I'm just taking you heard orange, mm -hmm. but you ain't use these mm -hmm. ears. And somebody said orange, but you ain't use his mouth. Okay. So who is that? Where you at? That's where I'm at in life. I'm on some whole nother cycle. Okay. So when it comes to the law and right. religion, right. believe in the one the Lord. Okay. As far as the Bible goes, mm -hmm. it's too many religions that come to it. You're proving everything you're saying. Say, oh, say that right. again. You're proving everything you're saying. All praises, brother. That's that's right. all, because it ain't that's my word. So. All I praises. I know the Bible, so all I, know praises. What I know when I hear. All praises. So I'm not going to knock All praises. It. What I'm saying is, I'm not finna come over uh -huh. to be where y'all at in life right, right now. Okay, okay. Now, this is my thing. Because I love you and you my brother. Yo, hey, sir, I got to go home. Yeah, yeah, man. Wife. Go ahead, bro. Hey, hey you got to fly. Everybody. I got to fly. Yo, yo, Check yo. that out, man. Check that out. Definitely, definitely. But you know what's heavy? Because I love you and I know you my brother, yo. I could never let you walk away. Well, you're not supposed to. The Bible is not going to. You will be going against the commandments. There you, you go, you bro. There you go. You understand? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, man. You know, yeah, man. Man. You know, you know what I'm saying? I do this. This is all because I do. Because now, the, the, word. now, the thing is, the only thing I would say is don't shut off the door. I'm not. Good. You know what I'm saying? Good. Good. I'm gonna fully commit myself to okay. the Lord because I'm too fast in these streets right now. Uh -huh. I'm doing too many with women. Everything he's telling me not to do, I do. And guess what? You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm gonna show and you I what... like it. And, and, so and, that's the right. problem with me. Uh -huh. so I'm not finna see now, the post and waste the time. That? What the Bible say about people? It's death. Have... Say it again. It's death. I don't want you to die, bro. I don't want to die neither. I don't want you but to see, die. But see, that's the psychological programming you know that's saying? going on in this world Watch with the this. people, with the children, with everybody. I don't want you to die. back to this world. You got power. Watch this. Give me drop um Romans 6. Romans I'm 6 and 12. I'm talking because I guess yeah, I'm not going to be healed, but I'm Hopefully talking at this point. Well, I'm, 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 I know I'm not going to do it, bro. No, 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 no. I, I got you. I got you. I got you. And I, I, and I appreciate I it, bro. Don't get me wrong. Hopefully this scripture right here will help my brother get on the track there. Because I know how that is. You feel like, I can't, man. It's just something inside of me. No, I got you. Yeah, it's, it's, I just, everybody, people come in right. all the time. So apparently the Lord is trying to talk to him. I Watch just ain't trying to hear right now. Watch this verse. Romans chapter 6 verse 12. Uh -huh. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body. It said let not sin reign. You know what that reign? Spell that word reign right there. Reign. R-E-I-G-N. You know what reign go with? That, like a king reign. Like a king reigns on his throne and he got all type of power. When we give in to that thought, I can't change. I'm just moving a certain way. We're letting sin say, yeah, I'm going to kick my feet up. And guess what? I'm going to put my feet on your head and you ain't going to move. Read. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body. Uh -huh. That you should obey it. That you should what? Obey it. You become a slave to it, Benjamin, and you uh, ain't no slave for sin. That's I right. see it in you. Wake him up. You get what I'm saying? I do it because I like it. You know what I'm saying? I do it because it's because the it flesh it telling you you like it. Yeah, right. exactly. But I'm going to tell you, that flesh is a lie. I'm going to tell you, right. somebody explain the flesh to me in a way it made so much sense. Bring it up. Imagine someone is sentenced to death, and it's his time to go into that death chamber and die. That flesh is that being walking into that death chamber, right? It's gonna grab everything around it to come with. 
it's going to grab everything it can claw at to come with it because it knows it's sentenced to death. Right. That flesh is making you feel comfortable in your spit on sin because it knows it's done. Right. But that spirit is saying, hell no. That's right. There's something else inside of me. Right. There's something else working inside of me. Right. That's why I feel the guilt. That's why I feel the shame. Right. That's why when nobody's looking, I may shed a tear too. Because right. I feel bad for what I did. Bring it up. Watch this, read. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, uh -huh. that you should obey it in the lust thereof. In the lust thereof, because that's all it is, bruh. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? I it. Man, I, man, I used to smoke weed a lot. And someone asked me a question, and it hit me. They was like, hey, you like weed? I said, yeah, man. I said, why? They was like, why you smoke it, man? It helped me mellow out, you know what I'm saying? But I can stop when I, when I want to. He said, okay. What, do you remember you, where you was when you smoked your 11 joint? 11? Nah. Your 17th? Nah. Your 33rd? Nah. You fought, bro. He made me realize I was so far gone in the weed. I didn't realize I was slave to it. I wasn't smoking it for the same reason when I first first smoked it the first time. Right. I had become a slave. I had changed. I was a zombie for it, bro. You understand what I'm saying? And that's all of us. Right. When we keep falling for this flesh, we become a zombie to it. Jump to verse 16. Verse 16. Know you not that to whom you yield yourself servant to, to whom you yield yourself servant to. So you got the flesh on one side and you got the spirit on the other. Right. And you got to tell yourself, who am I going to obey? The flesh, which I know leads to death, that's out of your own mouth, or the spirit that leads to life. Right. Read. His servants, you are to whom? You are, you are slave to whatever you go for. You see what I'm saying? Now the thing about it is, the thing about it is, give me Ecclesiastes 4 9. This is what you need. And we're going to wrap up soon. Hey, hey, guess what? You know what? Another, an, uh, um, I've heard the book of Ecclesiastes refer, referred to as the book of regrets. Because that was, uh, that was solid. Solomon, wise king, and he, and he, he exactly, he did everything wrong, and then he wrote a book about it, it ain't even worth, and we don't get the last verse in that book too, 4 and 9, read that, Ecclesiastes, chapter 4, verse 9, this is what you have to understand, because we love you as brothers, all we're saying is give us a chance and come to the school, that's all we're saying, I know, I know, right now you might not, but remember what I said earlier, don't shut the door, don't shut the door, okay, read, two are better than one, no, I can do it by myself, Two are better than one. That's brotherhood. That's fatherhood. Right. That's nation. Right. Read. Right. Because they have a good reward for their labor. No, for whose labor? For their labor. Because they're working together. Right. Read. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. That's what a brother's supposed to do. That's what a brother's supposed to do. I see my brother going off. Bro, I got you. I'm going to help you out. Because guess what? I might have my turn when I'm going off. Guess what my brother's supposed to do? Nah, bro. We've been here before. We know what that life looks like. We know what it is to give into that flesh. And we ain't doing that no more. Read. But woe to him. But what? But woe to him. Whoa. W-O-E means destruction. But destruction, death to him. Read. That is alone when he fall. When you is alone when you fall. Because guess what? When you fall by yourself, you don't have that shame of changing. You just do it again. Who gonna tell me something? There's no conviction. Whereas that brother will make you feel bad because he sees the God in you. That's right. He's not gonna make it comfortable for you to stay at the bottom. That's right. That's why two are always better than one. Bring it out. Read. For he had not another to help him up. He had not another to help him up. You understand what I'm saying? So, bro, I know what you're saying right now. And some you say with compassion and some you say with fire. But I got to give you the truth and the reality of it. Sirach 5 and 7. Did you have something, Juice? This is your cousin, though. Yeah. Okay. We all the time. That's we good, man. Time, but I ain't seen no, yeah, and that's good. Because I'm sure y'all going to have a conversation. I know the word. I know all about it. I appreciate man. you, bro. I'll see him again. We'll have a deep cut. Now, listen. But I just, I just seen you guys. Mm -hmm. so I, you mm -hmm. know and this will be the last one if, if you are, right? Sirach 5 and 7. Sirach chapter 5 verse 7. Uh -huh. you know, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. It says make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. Because every time we wake up, it ain't because you deserved it. Yeah, right, right. It ain't. Let's prove that right quick. The whole way you at, Lamentations 3.22. I'm going to prove what I'm saying. When we wake up in the morning, it ain't because you deserve it. No one wakes up and be like, yeah, I deserve to be here. To no, 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 no. 
Come on. Watch this. Lamentations 3.22. Lamentations chapter 3, verse 22. Uh -huh. It is of the Lord mercies that we are not consumed. Uh -huh. Because his compassions fail not. It is the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. Right. Read verse 23. They are new every morning. They are what? They are new every morning. I'm telling you, I'm going to come out the scriptures. So when we wake up and we find ourselves being able to wake, swallow, blink our eyes, see, smell, walk. That's because the, the most I had mercy on us. That's right. So go back to Sarah. Read that. Sarah, chapter 5, verse 7. Uh -huh. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. Uh -huh. And put not off from day to day. And that's what that's that's what the flesh will tell you. You'll get right later. You'll get right next week. To the point where you say, man, I ain't gonna get right, and I'm okay with not being right. You done gave up, bro. You done gave in. Read. But suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And say, for what? Suddenly. You're not thinking about it. When you're crossing the street because you just heard the word, hey, car almost hit you. Man, I almost lost my life. Your angel was trying to say, wake up, come back. Read. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Uh -huh. And in thy security, and in thy security with your normal routine, feeling comfortable what you normally do, read. Thou shall be destroyed. Thou shall be what? Destroyed. Death. Death. Um, Proverbs 29. Proverbs 29. Proverbs 29. Hey, uh, Tobit. Proverbs 29 and verse uh, da, 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 da. 1. Watch this. Read it slow because I want this for my brother. Proverbs chapter 29 verse 1. Uh -huh. He that being often reproved. He that being often corrected. It's like a child. I got to keep beating the same kid for the same reason. What's eventually going to happen to him? He going to exactly. Read. He that being often reproved. Harden his neck. He get to the point where you know what my neck. Bro, look. The good way is right here. He holding his neck strong. You ain't going to show me nothing, brother. I'm hurt. His neck is hard. He's to the point where he don't want to hear nothing. He's to the point where he's telling his brothers that he can see God love for him. Brother, I do want to change, but I'm going to just tell you straight. I ain't going to change, brother. I'm just. Read. Shall suddenly. Shall what? Suddenly. That's two verses that say suddenly. Because the strike and the judgment of the Lord is with A. It's, it could come at any time. Right. Sure, but I'm not scared of that. I, I, you know I got you. Hey, listen. I know what I'm doing. But my thing is. I'm accepting my punishment for Because I done been down that road with the Lord. I, but see, this is my thing, right? I done right? been down that road with you the Lord. You know what it is? And if the Lord left me there. Uh-huh, but he did it. He left me there. He did it. I had a good relationship he with him. He left me there. He did it. He took it from he me. He did it. Oh, no he know he didn't leave you there. I'm good. And you know how I know he didn't leave you there. Him, but you, I ain't fucking with him like that. Listen, let me tell you, I've been there. I, I know what you feel. I feel so you. Yeah, that's I why feel, I ain't with it. I feel you, Benjamin. That's why I ain't with it. I've been there. I've been there. Word. Everything but I'm you say, you can't tell me but that. But Benjamin, the Lord you know how, you know how I know he didn't leave you. He did. That's how I gave him my life. Your don't test here. me like that. Right. Don't play with me like Benjamin, that, Lord. Your brothers are here. I'm here for you. We're Lord. here. You're not going to leave me. Give me one three. Give me one three. me to keep coming yeah. back. But this is the way you want to play I'm with me, Lord. You. No, I ain't going to do that. He's giving you the truth this time. He's your word. He's giving you the truth this time. He ain't giving me. you religion. He ain't giving you Catholicism. Wow. He ain't giving you Roman Catholicism. Wow. He ain't giving you the best saying of the Lord, my brother. Look at your brothers. Your brothers here for you. I know. This is my blood. And God made him. You're right. And you're ready for you. Hey, you hey, ready for you. That's, that's, you. that's exactly your but point. Time, does your, does your you heavenly Lord. father love you? Well, I'm right. down with him. Hey, I'm telling you. Why he ain't let me in? Yeah, watch this. Life bro, I, I, I understand exactly I what you're saying. Right. Watch this. Read this. Read this. Baruch, chapter 3, verse 1. Uh -huh. Lord Almighty, uh -huh. God of Israel, uh -huh. the soul in anguish. The what? The soul in anguish. The soul that's fell. In anguish. I gave it to you, Lord. You're right, I'm I gave you 100%. But what you mean? didn't. But what I'm and trying to. And you sit there telling me what this man said? Two are better than one. Right. Two are better than one. Yes, you right. got the truth right. now. Right. And your cousin right here. An right. example of how he changed. Because right. you know how he used to be. Now he in the street reading the Bible. That's right. 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 That's him. That's him. Right. It changed him. Right. And it could do the same for you. That's right. 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 The soul in anguish. Uh -huh. The troubled spirit. Uh -huh. Cried unto the Lord. What did he do? Cried unto thee. Uh -huh. Hear, O oh Lord. What to do? Hear, O oh Lord. And he will hear you. 
right. But we gotta come thus saith the Lord. Right, right. That's the point, my bro. Right. I get it, man. Bro, I done been in situations where I'm like, man, can't be no God. And then for some man, strange that's, reason, that's, that's year after year. You get what I'm saying? That's what I'm standing praying to this man. Right. That's what I'm standing doing right. what I need to do after I'm following these rules. Bro. How long I'm gonna post now, let me ask you a Somebody question. Somebody tell me. Yeah, they ain't never heard let me that. ask you a question. It's a lie in the sky. Now you check this out. Me. Check this out. You a man that, hey, I got to see it to believe it. I need an example. That's right. Your cousin is reading the Bible. That's right. That's right. That's